Hello everyone, I'm Cool Guy. Welcome back. It had been disabled due to a bug, but the Hunter's Season of Worthy Chess Piece, Raiju's Harness, is back in play. I am very confident in saying that this is a top option for PvP. One of the best that there is, especially in Trials. At the end, I will talk about PvE a little bit, but this exotic overall has some really good qualities about it. In this review, I want to talk about what it does, how to get the most out of it, but most importantly, how to become a better Middle Tree Arc Strider when using Whirlwind Guard because Raiju's Harness is centered around Middle Tree Arcstrider's Way of the Current Whirlwind Guard. This is one of my personal main Hunter Trees. It's got a top tier neutral game with Tempest Strike, Ebb and Flow, and Lightning Weave. At the top of the screen and a card below is how to best utilize the subclass. I go in depth. There are ways to use it with Liar's Handshake as well. Both of those videos are going to be down below in the description, and those are talking about other parts of Way of the Current, but here it's all about Whirlwind Guard. With the Guard, it shuts down almost every super in the game, and on activation, it deflects before you even start blocking. So whatever is deflected turns into yours. It has the same exact traits it would have had, but now it's for you. You can deflect a Nova Bomb or pop activation on a Nova Bomb. The small particles of the Nova Bomb that track other players are going to do that as if you threw the Nova Bomb. If you deflect a Sentinel Shield, it's going to throw the shield back and start ping-ponging your enemies like you were the one that threw it. One of the big things about it is that it cancels out a lot of supers. Not only cancels, but outright beats most supers. It deflects and cancels Golden Guns. It can deflect them right back and kill the Golden Gun user, down them. It deflects and kills Blade Barrage. It deflects Fusion Rifles, Rockets. There's a long, long list, but not only is this a defensive super, but you also have regular Arc Strider to go on offense with. It's just a great super that I don't see too much. One of the main things to remember though about Whirlwind Guard is that when you deflect a projectile, your Arc Staff damage is tripled for a short time. So as an example, this is one of the ways you need to use it. A simple light attack is not gonna take out another super. As you can see, I light attack a super, it isn't enough, but the moment someone shoots at me while I'm deflecting, you get the Whirlwind Guard buff on the screen. When you have that, you can light attack another super with a one shot. If you get your super early, you could be on the offense, but say in Trials, they have a Golden Gun, or they have another super, you can just specifically pop your super to deflect, and that's just going to cancel them out. Or you're the last player alive, there's a Golden Gun popped, you can go to one of your teammates in Trials and revive them deflecting over their revive. That way you can get a friendly up. Just remember that Spectra Blades can't down you, other Arc Staffs. You can hit Nova Warp twice before they get off their explosion. It eats Storm Trance. You can stop Thunder Crash if it's right in front of you. You can stop Landfall from Storm Caller if you pop it at the right time. The only things you have to worry about are Trace Rifles, Chaos Reach, Burning Maul, and then Titan Hammers and Blade Barrages that get thrown above you or behind you, sometimes to the side. To play this perk, Whirlwind Guard, if it's a true 1v1 versus another super, you're trying to get the Palm Shot off, but most of the time you're in Deflect and you're walking them down. As you're doing that, other enemies are panicking, they're shooting at you. All you're doing is holding, walking them down, taking aggro, boxing them in, and the moment that you see someone shoots at you, Whirlwind Guard's on the screen, you use your light attack on the enemy super. It's easy work. Just remember that. If you just sit there and hold your guard, deflecting, let's say, a Spectra Blades or another Arc Strider, they get hopeless most of the time because the majority of them simply can't get you. They can't kill you. You just get close, wait for that buff to get on your screen, come out of deflect, and then light attack them. With Raiju's Harness, his exotic perk is Mobius Conduit. First of all, different shaders turn the glow and the look of this chess piece. It's very cool, different shaders. The perk states, while your Whirlwind Guard Super is active, guarding consumes less energy, and you can press your Super Activation button again to deactivate your Super early and save Super Energy. Similar to Chaos Reach with the Geomags, and I'm going to talk about exactly what Raiju does when you should be canceling what it does when you cancel, why you should cancel, things like that. And one thing about Arc Strider to remember is that if you pop it and do nothing, that is the longest duration. It lasts for 17 seconds. That's with no guarding, no light attacks, no heavy attacks. I see a lot of people pop it, immediately start deflecting and going, or they start using light attacks to get around. What you want to do is pop it and use the dodging movement, because this doesn't take away any of your super energy. It lasts the full 17 seconds while you're using the Arc Strider dodge mechanic. This is what you need to do to move around, and when you get up close to enemies, or another super, say they're coming at you, that's when you start to hold deflect, and you can go on the offense. So the base super is 17 seconds. If you don't have on this chess piece that we're talking about, Raiju's Harness, from the moment you pop your super and deflect the entire duration, it lasts for 9 seconds. That's just straight deflect time. But if you do have on this exotic, from start to finish, pop, immediately deflect, it lasts for 12 seconds, so you're gaining 3 seconds of block time. You would pop and run around not deflecting, so when it comes time to block, you aren't consuming as much energy as you would have otherwise. But if you do need to pop and block immediately, here's where that can come in. As a short example, the golden gun durations each last about 10 seconds. 
if bottom tree gets a headshot on someone, it's going to last longer. But say it's a 1v1 or a 2v1 in trials. They pop the golden gun right in front of you. You can't do anything about it. You have to pop your super and start deflecting. If you don't have Raiju's on and you had to panic deflect, golden gun's going to outlast you. They're going to have a second on you. But if you had on Raiju's, you outlast them. You can walk them down. They're going to run out. And you're going to have about two seconds to use your super on them. It really is the difference of them having one second on you, that way when you run out they're just going to golden gun you, or you outlasting them and then having two seconds on them because you outlasted their golden gun. Some other supers are going to last longer than that, so you would pop and only deflect when they're a direct threat, when you're in direct contact with them. Say if you're running away from a storm trance, you can run, run, run at the last possible moment, then you pop deflect, that way you're gaining time. In those situations, you could probably outlast them. In a straight 1v1 though, even with Raiju's, you're not going to outlast something like storm trance. The other part of Raiju's is that you can end your super early. Now my voice might sound different, it's because I'm coming back post final edit. I want to make this part crystal clear, it's very important to understand. I wouldn't feel good about this review if I didn't make it clear. When you end your super early, it's going to work off of a percentage. When you look at the super bar, we break it down into 4 quarters, 25%, 50, 75, and 100. Depending on where you deactivate is going to depend on how much super energy the deactivation is going to take away and in turn how much you're going to be left with. If you deactivate with over 50% super left, it's going to take 26% on your deactivation. This could be a good thing, maybe you have one quick kill, no one's around, you deactivate it. Even after deactivation, you're still going to be at almost 50% of your super going into your next one. But once you get past that, once there's less than 50% of your super left, you're going to get a better return. On the screen is various stop points. The dark part on the super line is near where the deactivation happened. And you can see that the longer you wait, the less it takes away. And the earlier that you do it, the more it takes away. The sweet spot to end your super to make that decision is going to be around 26% to 49% of your super left. If you have more than 50% left, it's going to take that full 26%. So the longer you wait, like the very bottom pitcher, it's not going to take that full 26%. And a big thing to take away, it's always worth it to end your super early, even if it's seconds. To show on the screen, anywhere within this bar on deactivation is good. This 26% to 49%. Because if you deactivate, again, on that other side, you're going to be down here anyway. There are so many scenarios that you can run into. Say you're right on top of an enemy, you pop your super, you get a couple quick kills, it is going to be best to just deactivate it right then and there. But if you have to go a little bit, you get a couple kills, but there's someone on your radar and they're very close, you might as well go take them out, get down into that sweet spot, and then deactivate. The background gameplay is perfect in showing this. I pop my super, I get a couple kills, get a third, find the other one, and I'm just kind of waiting. I pop it in that sweet spot, and you see how much it takes away. So like right here, if there's any chance to get another kill, go do it in this time frame right here on your super bar. It's either going to be a very quick deal, you get some kills, deactivate, or in this center of the bar, I'd put lines. Just make sure it crosses that 50% point, then deactivate. Now there's a bug on Arc Strider right now as far as the super, it's going to be fixed with a patch coming up, I'm not going to talk about it. But super energy, gaining super energy, getting a fast super is important. That's in quick play all the way to trials. At tier 1 intellect, your super is 6 minutes and 22 seconds. At max intellect, tier 10, your super is 3 minutes 48 seconds. So say you go max intellect and you're pairing it with getting kills. Like I'm running Raiju's with max intellect right now. I have mods like pump action, remote connection. That way when I get a sniper kill or a shotgun kill, I get more super energy than I would have. When the match starts, I'm usually getting a super within 2 minutes. And that's the cool part with Raiju's. I cannot stress the gravity, the weight of what you're doing with this exotic. I've had 3-5 to five supers in quick play. Because sometimes, you go in with your super, if there are enemies, you pretty much just spend your entire super as you would because there's enemy after enemy. But there are a lot of times you get into an area and there's only 2 or 3. Maybe there's an enemy that's behind enemy lines that's right in your spawn that pops a golden gun. You could pop your super, deflect, take them out, and right when it's done, there's no other enemies in sight, you can deactivate. When you have on this chest piece, you want to make quick work of your enemies because if you do that, say you pop it and take out 2 quick enemies, you can deactivate it and then be at about 50% super. That way no super is wasted as you're running around to the other end of the map or trying to chase down other enemies. You can just pop it, get the kills, be done, and then go on and get another one. Say in Trials, you get super first. You rush them, you get all three, after that you immediately deactivate. And depending on how fast you do it, you could have 30% of your super back. And if you're on max intellect, that max super was 3 minutes 48 seconds, you're already 30% into that. Or maybe in Trials, a team is split. You go after two, and there's the other lone wolf enemy that's just on the other side of the map trying to go for a flank. Well, you could pop your super, take out the two, and immediately deactivate. 
You're gonna have over 50% of your super because you deactivated early, and then your team is in a 3v1. Those are the decisions that you need to make and that you're going to make and that you should be making. It's really strong. Or say you take out a couple, and here's a surprise for the next one. Say there's only one player left. You're blocking and walking them down. You can deactivate and just 1v1 them. You can save that super energy. Say you don't have teammates around to grab an orb or you wouldn't make an orb because it's your first kill. I've found that they don't expect you to immediately just stop blocking and shooting. Maybe catch them in a reload. As soon as they're reloading, deactivate and go shotgun them. Deactivation to save the super energy is a big deal. And in the background game, it's where I have on double pump action. I get my super within a couple minutes. I got it, went into their spawn. There's only a couple enemies. I got them and immediately deactivated. I ended up getting my second super before the enemy team got their first. If you can, go as high as you can with intellect mods for things like trials. Just a high intellect stat. Now that's going to take away from other stats. That's going to be the negative. But this is already a very lethal super. You can 1v1 pretty much anything. You can cancel other supers, you can take out other supers. You need to focus on quick work on your enemies, then deactivate when there are no more threats. Use mods like Pump Action, Remote Connection, Hands On, Ashes to Assets, Light Reactor. That way when you get your kills, you get a tad bit more super energy than you would have otherwise. Pop your super and only start the deflect when there's a threat. Use the dodge movement until you need to deflect or go on offense. This exotic paired with this tree is amazing. I do believe it is one of the top 100 exotics for PvP. You're going to be seeing it in Trials. Like, it's a very strong Trials exotic. Because with everything you can do with it, with how powerful the deflect is, how quick you can get it back, it's top tier. It's only top tier if you do these things though. You need to try to get back a third of your super or half of your super after you get some kills, because when you do that, you're going to see how strong it is. For PvE, I didn't forget about it. I didn't have the time for damage comparisons, but you would be using deflect to get that whirlwind guard buff more. That way you can do three times more damage with arc staff. The same thing is going to apply. If there are no enemies around, you just deactivate. That way you're saving super energy. It's tough to say without the numbers versus the flux with combination flow, things like that. But you do want to use Whirlwind Guard to deflect and do three times more damage. And with this exotic, you're able to deflect a little bit longer. That's going to be the goal. Thank you for watching. Hit the sub button if you aren't already. Hit the bell to get videos right when they go live. I'm going to be using a max intellect build with Raijus and Trials this coming weekend and going forward. Otherwise, it's going to be Kepri's. As far as the hunter goes, I've gone flawless every week with Capri's. Both of these are great. In this video, I wanted to help you become a better overall deflect strider while also going through the benefits of this exotic. I want to know what you think about Raiju's harness. Let's talk about it down below. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.